All right, so now we're going to change out, we're going to show you how to change out the wet kit on the Wilden 2 inch advanced pump. After we rebuilt the air motor, we're going to go ahead and do the wet side. So this pump was PTFE full stroke fitted, meaning that it's got full stroke PTFE primary, uh, full stroke thermal plastic elastomer backup, and it uses the same inner and outer pistons as the traditional rubber pump. So if your application changed and you no longer need to use the more expensive PTFE, say you can downgrade to just a traditional well flex, you can still use the same existing hardware and it just drops right in there. Save yourself and your customers a lot of money by doing so and makes the changeover a lot easier. Traditionally in the past, we would have had to change the shaft, the inner piston, the outer piston. In this case, we just changed the diaphragm. So with that said, we'll go ahead and put it back together with our TWS option. Because now that we have the whole assembly buttoned up, we need to get the snap ring on the second side. So in order to properly sit that snap ring, what we'll do is we'll use the socket, push that snap ring assembly, that diaphragm assembly, all the way over on your pilot spool, take our snap ring pliers, square cut up, and we'll put that second snap ring on. And here's one of the biggest problems. If that snap ring is not properly ins uh, installed into the snap ring groove, you actually can allow that snap ring to come off during the first or second shift of the pump. So now we'll continue on to the diaphragm assembly. We'll go ahead and put that diaphragm through side A, flip it over, we'll put a inner piston, we'll put the backup diaphragm, the primary diaphragm, and the outer piston together. Get that outer piston in there pretty good. We'll go ahead and uh, start putting our fluid caps back on there. And so now that we have our diaphragms installed, what we want to do is look at the orientation. This says ProFlow Shift. This is the bottom. You also notice on the plastic, opposite to the metal pumps, the plug is on the bottom. So when you go to put the chamber on, if this is the bottom, you always want to put your chamber orientation to where the bottom faces the bottom. The bottom's always going to be the bell where the ball sits, so it's a lot easier to tell when it's a little light. But once we get the liquid chambers in place, go ahead and get all those fasteners started. And you'll notice what Wilden does is Wilden uses a flange hex nut. So it's got a hex nut with a flange that's serrated. The serrated edge actually grabs into the plastic so that when you tighten it up, you don't really have to keep a wrench on there. Makes it a lot easier to assemble. Once we get all these started, we'll go ahead and uh, zap them down. So once you torch it down and went around them, then you can go ahead and get to the other side, and then we can tighten up that outer piston. So using your torque wrench, torque wrench preset to the predetermined torque, go ahead and hold one side secure, and with the other side, go ahead and tighten that up. If it clicks, you're good to go. Then we go ahead and install our second liquid chamber. Again, noting the orientation. The bell's on the bottom, so you'll want to put the bell on the bottom to match that side. Get your liquid chamber on. Get your fastener started. Maybe a little difficult to install. You just have to push down a little bit to get it on the thread or two. Once you get it started, they'll all come down together. Okay. So once everything's started, then we'll just start zapping them down. Now, 
you're at the bottom. So all the, uh, the bell falls, the manifold seals, and the bell seat O-rings will all come part of the new wet kit. So go ahead and drop in your seat O-ring into the chamber. And your manifold O-rings, you can set those on top. Now, the bell seats are going to have two sides. It's going to have a, uh, a square cut, and the other side is going to have a poured out area. The square cut always faces towards the O-ring, and since we noticed that we dropped the O-ring in there already, those seats just drop right over the top. Line up your O-rings there, your manifold O-rings, and then drop your manifolds right over the top. Another way to tell is if you're properly aligned, you can take that out. You can also hold it in place here with one finger to make sure that those are properly inside the manifold groove. Line it up, drop it down. Get those started. And then go ahead and button those up. Once the bottom's secure, we'll go ahead and do the same thing to the top. From our new kit, we'll grab the new manifold seals, we'll grab the new seat O-rings, and we'll drop those in place. Okay. Since these seats are going to go into the chamber, we'll load those seat up valve ball and the seal. Because we said the valve ball sits on this angle side, never sits on the port outside. Once we get that in place, simply take your manifold, drop it over the top, split your difference on the stack up, Get all your fasteners started. And that concludes the assembly of the P800 Advanced Plastic Pops.